Hi there guys and welcome to a new series that I'm thinking about starting. Um, basically because they gave me the game. They sent me a Steam key and said would I have a look at it, would I take a little time to see what it's like and I have done. I've just been, I sat down to do some video recording on Train Simulator and thought oh, I'll give that a whirl while I'm here. And, um, well, <laughs> I've been playing it for the last sort of half an hour. No, I'm not brilliant with it, I don't really particularly understand it all yet. But I thought I'd give you a look as it is. Now, while it's not uh, completely brilliant uh, for UK people at the moment, there, there's going to be workshop support for this. So I'm guessing we'll be able to sort of customise the assets to make them look more British. <coughs> Which, to me, I'm, I'm quite excited about, really. I think that's quite a nice thing to be able to do. Um, I'm sure there's some some like ways you should be doing things really but for me I'm just sort of getting used to it now management games are another one of my favourites so if you think about things like um, Theme Hospital, Theme Park SimCity they were the games that I grew up playing I mean I Transport Tycoon I still play Transport Tycoon to this day um, I'm yet to find something that's beat it. Traffic Manager, I think it was called Traffic Giant. No, Traffic Giant. Uh, I played a lot of these sort of isometrically based games that are, are right up there in my um, sort of must-play games, really. Must-have games. I don't get a chance to play them that often, but I like the fact that a lot of the time you can dip in and out of them. When you do get yourself sitting playing one of these sort of management games, I, f I can waste hours. I can literally just lose absolute hours. Um, how is this fitting into that genre already? Yeah, I'm quite liking it. It is early access. So I don't expect it to be perfect. It's not... Right, so I'll tell you what, here's the best way to do this. I liked Transport Tycoon because I could personalise the colour of... It sounds daft, and it? Personalise not only the colour of the trains, but the name of the transport company. I could decide where I wanted to build tracks, how I wanted to build tracks. It was pretty free in that way um, this isn't a traffic management simulator this isn't a transport management simulator really this is a station management simulator now the curveball they throw into this is timetable management so this is the bit I was kind of dreading a little bit about this game it's not quite a afro player they gave they gave him a copy of it as well um, I just sort of thought did it really need to be in there? I don't know. I'm not sure it did. On the plus side, I'm glad it is because it's made me sort of realise how the game works a little bit better and it's made me sort of practice on how to use it. And uh, I've only been doing it half an hour, but I've, I think I've maybe got it a little bit. If you guys have been playing this longer than I have, you will be spotting errors. I mean, come on, this is one of my videos, for God's sake, you should know by now. That I am not, see, I do that a lot, pro for anything. This is one of my big gripes. Right clicking moves you around the map, but it also is delete. So you need to make sure that you've put everything back before you start doing any deleting. Okay, now the last one I did, I used ticket machines and things, and it, it sort of moaned at me a little bit about that. So what this time round, I'm going to use uh, a ticket booth to start with, and then... Um, an info desk because information it was I might use the object info information point because it wasn't too pleased a lot of people were saying that my information wasn't correct uh, you have to manage like employees and things as well now these are pretty cool you get the little story like you used to get in theme park and theme hospital you used to get the uh, Dr. Snook likes digging cabbages and this smells faintly of cabbage and likes growing vegetables in the garden. So you get 41 year old single woman from London. She worked as a local food, uh, local school for eight years and loved her job. Uh, 59 year old married man from Manhattan. He worked at the Transportation Museum and he collects model trains. I like the sound of him. Let's get him on it. Let's have him start at five. And let's have him end at three and then let's find another person. 30 year old single guy from Manhattan would like to buy a new house. And has a cat called Manhattan. Well, that that uh, cat called Harry Manhattan, a cat called Harry Potter. That should make me new. Oh, his productivity is rubbish. Go away. Yeah, you're good. 
didn't even read your blurb. Let's get you starting at three. And get you ending about midnight. Right, that's the cleanings. The next things I want to do are two coppers. Because um, you get hooligans that come and try and smash your crap up, so... I quite like the idea of that. And then we'll end you at midnight as well. You can speed it up and slow it down. Uh, you get all different facilities. So what we've got ticket booth, newspaper stand, shoe shine, information stand, fresh fruit, public restroom, comfort station, lounge bar, control room, and public restroom at large. So if you click on a passenger, it tells you their blurb. Again, very reminiscent of the the, the bullfrog theme series. Um, also roller coaster tycoon, those sorts of things. Quite like the passenger interaction in it. I do quite like that that little aspect of it, and I like the the fact that you can link it in with other. Uh, city transports as well, so you've got your commuter buses, your city link, your nationals, your commuter trolley service, your city link trolley service, plus subway. Um, so, at the moment, I'm just making sure people can buy tickets and get some information. The next thing I'd like to do is give them somewhere to eat. Now, facilities-wise, there's a, a food, what's it called, a food station. And this thing is £85,000. While I've got the money, I'm going to put that in. Because I'm hoping I make some money off that as well. I don't know if I'm doing this right or anything like that, really. I'm still learning. I'm still new, as I said, for half an hour gameplay of it. That's about it already. And let's put some bins around because these people are dirty buggers. What is that? Oh no, we man's had a little heart attack. Better get a medic in, but we. All right, love is there. See, I like the pick up and move feature from Theme Park. That would be handy now because you should be able to move people to the trouble spots, didn't you? And that's high you as well. And your start time is going to be three till twelve. Not very fair shifts, I know. And you'll do five. Till three. Attention, please. This is a safety announcement. If you see any suspicious activity or unattended luggage, so what you've also got over here is this little container train thing. Now, as long as you don't have any of these boxes up, I've found. If you just click on start crane. Oh, just to let you know, I've not read any manuals for this. Of course, I wouldn't do a thing like that. Uh, I also like to know is it just going to be easy enough to just jump right into? And so far it has been, but it's also been engaging. Oh, did you hear that little defib? That means that matey boy on the platform should have been saved. Um, yeah, no manuals read in this. And it is sort of jump right in and play, which I quite like. But also, it's, uh, it's got enough to keep me going, enough interest. Enough little things to tweak with. Don't really know what this does. It gives me money, I hope. Yeah, it gives me money. So when it closes at 12, I can go into the timetable. And I can start scheduling stuff in and out again. I'm just got to make sure you haven't got any clashes, really. So now we can go into timetable. Uh, it is what it is, because I've only got one track at the minute. We'll build another track when we've got a bit more money. So the slightly cartoony element of it, I quite like. I mean, I would love it to look like a very detailed, realistic view. I'd like to see somewhere along the line somebody take something like this really seriously. Um, but I love the fun aspect of this, don't get me wrong. I don't think this deters me from this game at all. Um, if any of you guys ever played Airport Inc., it came on under a couple of various names, I think, in the end. Um, originally called Airport Inc. I think it was by Take-Two. Not sure. See, so I did that thing with right-clicking again. So while we're here, should we, should we make it look a bit prettier? I would usually make this all even and nice and... 
that sort of jazz, but as I'm just sort of showing it off to you at the moment, guys, I'm not going to bother with that so much. That's actually irritating me, I'm saying I'm going to do it like that, and then it is actually irritating me. There we go. I quite like the idea of doing that. That's pleasing me slightly. What timetable boards? Well, we need one of those, don't we? They're a very odd shape. We we're meant to put them. Should put one of those there. We'll have another one of those there. Photo boost. Attention, please. Smoking is not allowed at any time. Thank you. Let's grab some, uh, stick a vendor machine in for those that can't be bothered to walk down to the snack place further up. It's a bit more money, I suppose, isn't it? I hope it brings in a little bit more money. I've tried clicking on any of these things to see if I can. Oh, there's there's one of my cleaners. Oh, I can call him. Oh, nice no, dismiss. You're going out of the station, mate. You can't seem to like adjust prices on the the tickets or the food places or anything like that, which I'd have liked to have seen, if I'm honest. $150 in a vending machine. Mate, you've been done. Well, I suppose we should put some bugs in, really. That's quite a needed thing, isn't it? Attention, please. This is a safety announcement. If you see any suspicious activity or unattended luggage, notify a station personnel. Thank you. No, it's not like I'm being put there. Or there. Why, if it's all green... I'm going to put it there, it'll block everything off. Let me remove some of these objects. Let's let's take these out. Look at that tree. Trees are super irritating in this game. There we go. And then we can... Uh, put some more benches in. But imagine having like network southeast assets, like like the little objects and that you could have as like a whole NSE set that somebody's really nicely sat and made. A, uh, what was it? Traveller's Fair Cafe and that. A Burger King. All that jazz. Now you can build walls around the outside. Don't just think that it is a bit like that. So um, we'll start building ourselves some some walls. I haven't done this yet. Do I have to put the doors? I can put the doors in the wall. Right, so the wall goes first. And rot to rotate objects, it is R. Oh, what? I can't. You've got to leave a gap in between the. Really? Uh, okay, hang on then. Can I do this? That's T for timetable. Let's build that out a bit then. Attention, please. 
This is a safety announcement. If you see any suspicious activity or unattended luggage, notify a station personnel. Thank you. Actually, I don't want to do that yet because I'm going to bring in another line soon, aren't I? Track two that's going to come up like there. Uh, so it's right on the edge. So that's actually now. Let's cancel that. Let's do that. And we'll think about bringing the next track in the track. The track's bloody expensive. So you see, you've got to get rid of all the trees and all the gump that gets in the way. That's quite irritating, really. Attention, please. Smoking is not allowed at any time. Thank you. Oh, that's made me a little bit poor, mind. Then you've got to put platform in. So now I've got another platform in, I can um, schedule other trains on to use that line sort of thing. Let's get rid of the trees and then stick. I'd love the freedom to be able to do a little bit more with it, uh, track-wise and platform-wise and that sort of thing. But then it, it sort of Attention probably distracts, di di distracts, detracts from what the, the game developer was after, really. I haven't got a engineer yet to fix things when they break, but we'll get there. Attention, please. The passenger terminal. Right. What I want to do now. Minutes. The terminal will reopen at 5 a.m. Thank you. No, because it doesn't depart till nine. So rather seven thirty doesn't go till nine, which means I'll lose the eight thirty city link. So the commuter run in the morning isn't too bad. So it gets further on through the day. Ten that sits there till. I'm going to go with that. I don't know how correct or how right or how profitable that will have been, but we can hope. Right, what I want to do now. When it's night time is watch these all come in and get these containers so I get some extra money. Sometimes it gives me the 5,000, sometimes it doesn't. I think that is a game within the a bug within the game. Um, I think if you have any of these boxes open or move away from it too much, it doesn't really like it. What are you going to get? 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30, 30 grand 
out of every one of these trains. So that's like a set of toilets or anything like that. What I'm actually want to save up for is a bar. I think every train station should have a pub. So it's open. Alright, 75 grand for the day ahead. And like gives you these statistics and stuff. I haven't had a look through all of these yet. How's that ticket sales on this? I think this is like multiplayer stuff. It's day one, day two, day three. So here we go. Ticket vending, 450, so income is 450. Is that one passenger? One traveller, one, three passengers today. Oh, oh it's because we're only just started, isn't it? That's not too bad. Let's, um, 2,400 quid a day on salary, though. That's pretty high. Let's try and improve, improve our platform a bit. I don't know what it means by that. Oh, it's because I've got two. So I've had four platforms I'd improve. Attention, please. This is a safety announcement. If you see any suspicious activity or unattended luggage, notify a station personnel. Thank you. Oh, I've done that and I've put it completely wrong because I should match it up with the ones in front. That would drive me mad. side bin that side let's get some ticket machines in now even though I haven't had any hooligan attacks um, since I haven't had these ticket machines in If I can give people more access to buying tickets, then surely they might buy more tickets. Stick another little food truck in there, look. Little tuk-tuk. Uh, we'll put a couple of post boxes. Do train stations still have post boxes? I think they do. I haven't paid attention, to be fair. That should really be a bench. I've obviously right-clicked with an object in my hand. They've got to sort that. That's it's really irritating. Right, you know, you somebody's drawn up some. So if somebody did some three one threes or HST sets or anything. Like that. I think the maximum station length you can have is five. This would be a bit limited. Passenger-wise, I seem to be doing all right. I seem to be getting quite a few passengers through, surely. Ten to twenty passengers an hour. It's 
put a commuter station in. And then commuter. I don't know if this is the right thing to do, I'm just doing it. Thank you. Attention, please. The passenger terminal will be closing in 30 minutes. The terminal will reopen at. VIP parking, that's fine, but where can I put that? Because I can't seem to rotate it. That's right, let me just check something. Here. I've got these boxes open. Let's see if it gives me the money for it. It does. Let's start the crane and go away. No. Oh, it did. Attention I don't know what was going on with that then. So let's look at um, our city to link timetables. So 6.30 with an 8 to departure, 4.30 with 6 p.m. departure. 6, 4 and 10. I can't do these until night time, can I? Attention, please. This is a safety announcement. If you see any See, here are the vandals look. Notify a station personnel. Thank you. And they go, the cop has gone out the station just as they're coming in. Oh, she's clocking them, look, she's following them now. Look, they just seem to go and punch ticket machines. Or kick ticket machines, look, watch. Uh, no vandals until the ticket machines got here. Oh, I can hear one of them up to something now, there you go. There's a the copper now, and then the next one, love. Down here, look. What? Mate, that's some kick, that, innit? I don't mind replacing those, though. They were the only ones to... We're not very clean. We could do with another cleaner. Let's put you on... No, let's put you on, like... Nine... Till... Seven... Some money. So yeah, what do you guys think of this? Have any of you played it? What do we reckon? For me, as it stands, its pros and cons are right. Pros, it's it, it's keeping me pretty on board. I mean, I'm I'm pretty intrigued in it. I'm I'm pretty into it. Um. Still early access. Bits that sort of are I'm slightly against. Anything that has steam and diesel running side by side for me is a no-no. Um, it just irritates me. It upsets me. I don't know why. Um, this isn't a preserved railway. It's supposed to be a mainline railway. And it slightly irritates me. Um, the trains, me being a particular fan of trains, are a varied mixture of Russian, American, Chinese, German. I've seen all sorts. Uh, I'd like to see that sort of corrected or at least change in the workshop so you can decide what train comes. It's a bit inflexible when it comes to track layout and platform layout and it's got a limited number of objects and facilities and stuff at the minute. But that again is all something that could change with the, well, the tanks, uh, with the workshop stuff coming in. So for that reason, I'm actually really excited. 
I could see this being really good. I mean, imagine somebody does different tiles that use UK track and some nice hydraulic buffers and, and that works southeast pack and intercity swallow packaging and the R station pack. You could be... Pff, it's pretty good. Would I like to see, like, two levels? Meh, yeah, kind of. Uh, maybe go down so you go down another layer to the subway or something. That'd be quite nice. Um, I like the timetable integration. Even though I thought that was the bit that was going to annoy me, it doesn't. Attention, I quite like it. Employees. Yeah, I quite like those as well. Quite like the idea of it. Up, oh, yeah, what, what can I say? What can I say? I, uh, I'm quite taken by it. So once again, guys, thanks ever so much for joining. Uh, if you do want to see more of this, please do give this video a thumbs up. Please do give me a comment. Uh, just let me know what you think of it and if you'd like to see me do it. So, all the best, guys, and I'll catch you soon.